Hi and welcome everybody to this week's video of RBX Excel videos. Today I'm going to show you two simple um, timeline charts in Excel and I'm going to show you exactly how to create them. So enjoy watching and um, give it a like if you like the video and please consider subscribing if you want to see more of my videos about Excel. Well in this video I'm going to show you two types of timeline charts in Excel. The first one you see here a just a timeline chart with events on a horizontal axis which are coming from this table. The second one I want to show you is this timeline chart. It is a uh, basic timeline chart like here but it has a, a line chart in it with uh, sales volumes and in this way you can easily see which event um, did cause uh, a increase or decrease in sales. So I'm gonna go to this sheet where I have the same tables as the other sheet and I'm gonna make these two timeline charts from scratch and I wanna show you how to do that. The first one, um, you can uh, have a table with uh, the months on the left, the events, in each month, the months can also be days or uh, weeks, whatever you like, and an event height. And I will later explain what this event height um, will do. Um, to make the chart, just select the event height column, go to your insert top, and just insert a clustered column chart. Here I have my clustered column chart and uh, what I'm going to do first is uh, click right in my chart and click select data. I am going to uh, edit series one because the series name is event. Click OK and I'm going to edit my horizontal category axis labels like this. And these will be the months. Click OK and click OK. Well, you see the basis of the timeline chart here. What I'm going to do first is um, click the series, the bars, uh, and make sure you only select the bars and uh, add error bars uh, by clicking the plus sign and clicking the error bars. Well, what we're going to do now is press our Ctrl-1 key to open the format area window and we are going to um, select the series event error bars. Go to your error bar options and change the direction to minus and the end style to no cap. Uh, scroll down and you see the uh, error amount. We will select percentage and change this in a 100% percent. What we can do now is uh, again select the series event, go to the fill in line and we are going to select no fill so it's going to be transparent. Now you only see the error bars and we can go back to our series event error bars. We can go to the fill in line menu and we can Increase the width of the arrow bars to uh, about two and a half points. And we can change the color to a nice blue color, for example. And now you see the lines for our timeline chart. Well, the horizontal axis, we can also change that um, to a nice line. We're going to select our horizontal category axis. Go to the fill in line. Click a solid line and also here we can increase the width to two and a half points. It already has the same color as the arrow bar lines and we can select an end arrow type like this. So you see the horizontal axis is uh, has become an arrow. Now we can um, just add the events to our lines and we are going to do that by adding data labels. So we are going to select our error bars in the chart. We are going to add the data labels by clicking the plus sign and click 
data labels. Well, you see the value of the event height is named as your data label right now. You can select the data labels here and go to your format menu by clicking Ctrl-1, a short key for the format menu, and we can go to the label options menu. We are going to select the value from cells here, and this little window opens. I can select the names of the events here. Just select them, press OK, and uncheck the value box and the show little lines box. Now you see we have our timeline chart with the events on a timeline. I can remove this axis and I can remove these grid lines to have a nice chart. And I can explain what the event height means. I can change this, uh, for example, for the worldwide increase in demand. You see it here, it has the value five. When I change it to two, it comes a bit lower on the timeline. And you also see minus values beneath zero. It's um, to uh, place them underneath the horizontal axis on your timeline. So I can change this two into minus three, for example, you see it changes to the downside of the horizontal axis. And I can change it back to, for example, four. So this is basically the way you can um, create your own timeline chart in a really uh, fast way. Well, I promised you I'm gonna make also a timeline chart like this with a line chart combined with a timeline chart. Uh, for that, we will need this table. It has a table with uh, dates. It are all the Mondays for each week. I have the sales for each week and I have some events with an event height, just like this table. For this, we can uh, select our sales column. And now we are starting by inserting a simple line chart. And for this, we are also going to right click in our chart, click select data, and we're gonna uh, edit series one. We're gonna give it the name sales. And we're gonna edit the horizontal category axis labels, which are these dates. Just click OK, select them and click OK. And click OK again. Well, you see the basic of the line chart here with the sales. And what we need to add now is the timeline chart with the events. For that, we are going to um, click again right in your chart and click select data and add another series. The series name is event and the series values are the event heights. And select them and click OK. And again, click Okay, well, you don't see the series in your chart uh, already because the values are so low. Um, what we need to do now is give them a, a different uh, chart type. We want it as a bar chart. Just click right in your chart, select change chart type and select combo. Your sales needs to be a line chart like it was and your events needs to be a, a column chart and we wanted to place it on a secondary axis and now you see the bars are coming in uh, the chart just click ok and now we can follow uh, basically the same steps as our uh, previous timeline chart so just click the bars add your error bars Click Ctrl-1 to select the series event error bars. Click minus and no cap. And I want, again, a percentage of 100. Now I can select again the series event. Make them transparent by selecting the fill and line menu and say no fill. Now I can... Again, select the error bars, the fill and line option. I can increase the width of the error bar to two and a half point, and I can 
change the color to a blue color and I can again select the horizontal axis I can select it in my chart or in this menu I can increase the width again to all also two and a half points I can select an and arrow type with the arrow and change the color also to blue now the last thing we need to do is add the data labels to our events and for that I need to uh, select my bar chart well I just made them uh, transparent so I don't see it anymore well and for that I can select my chart uh, go to the format tab in my ribbon and I can select my series event and when I do that I can click the plus sign in my chart and select data labels well basically like we did in our previous timeline chart I can select the data labels press console one and again go to the label options click value from cells and I can select the events here click OK uncheck the value and the show leader lines and my um, events are on my lines in my timeline chart well we cannot delete this uh, axis because when we do that you see this happens uh, a trick for that is I will uh, undo that a trick for that is select the axis go to your home top on your ribbon select a white text color and also for the other axis select a white color I can delete the grid lines and I see I have my chart here well you see this is not a very nice here my text is going through my line and so for that I can change the event heights in my chart so um, these are I can say 0 0.5 and for this I can uh, press one or one and a half for this one I can say one well that's a bit too high 1.0.5 I can um, select for the last one 1.5 and I can um, say for this one for example 4 so this one is a little bit through the other line so I can just click the data labels click again so I only select this data label I can make it a bit higher a bit more to this side so now it's nice not through this line and and this way you can make easily a timeline chart with a line chart going through it with for example your sales volume and this is a perfect way to see the consequences of the events your product was launched and your sales started here you start a marketing campaign and your sales are going to increase a worldwide increase in demand will cause another increase of your sales but a big breakdown in production line uh, causes a shortage of stock and my sales will go down until my uh, production line is repaired again sales are going up but increased sales prices cause a uh, increase of sales again so you see basically the uh, consequences of each event uh, going in your timeline chart through the events on your timeline this is also a great way for problem analyzing when you see things happen in for example a production uh, facility you can uh, easily name values in a chart in a line chart and add some timeline events to see the consequences of actions you take what I want to say at last is that it's very important to have your events and your sales in the same table in Excel um, that is because you cannot combine these on the same axis when it's in a different table so this is basically how you make these two types of timeline charts so thanks for watching this video about timeline charts in excel i hope you can make something nice with this information 
And um, if you like the video, please give it a like and hit that subscribe button if you want to see more of my videos about Microsoft Excel. Thanks for watching.